so I'm at the Lumexis booth and there's been a lot of buzz with airlines rolling around here. John, what's your message for airlines? So the big message for us, Mary, is we've just introduced our fourth generation FTTS system. I think what sets this apart is we've integrated our mobile technology and moving to Android that we developed for IPAX, which we launched last year, and brought it forward onto FTTS. So what we now have is a completely very fast, responsive system, feels just, operates just like a tablet would, which means we get almost instantaneous um, you know, movie play. We can now really have genuine scrubbing on the screen in real time. We can have subtitles instantly and change language instantly. We have significantly more language options that we can put in, same we can do this for captions as well. Uh, moving to Android and mobile has allowed us to add more apps. So for example, we can take apps, for example, from companies, partners like PXCom, City Guide, Destination Guide. Gives us a lot more options in terms of mapping. So here we have Vetria's Flight Path 3D product. Uh, so with Flight Path, we are. Ah, lovely. So if you're familiar with this, it's a mm -hmm. fully interactive mapping product. So we've got genuine pinch and zoom instantaneously. I'm trying to find the US now so I can zoom in. So if we zoom in, we go from like a earth view down to a street view. Phenomenal. This uh, product is really, really taking So we've got street view. We can have POIs, and this really opens the door in terms of the potential for having um, ancillary revenue driven through sponsored POIs. You know, top 10 hotels, top 10 restaurants, etc. can scroll through what we're going to do. Um, other usual kind of things on here as well. Let's just get back to the home screen. So movies, TV programs, very easy to integrate a IPTV feed from a SATCOM antenna onto the system. Uh, TV programming, etc. Going to Android as well gives us the option of having a lot more games. And because we now have a genuine consumer screen interaction, you can do things like really playing games that uh, you know work well on a on a sophisticated touch screen. So, Pac-Man's my favourite. Um, so this is probably running a bit over time now. So we now have the type of sophistication in the control that you really can play interactively on, on games. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, when you're talking to these airlines, do they, what do they ask you for? What are they saying they need? I think, I think that, you know, significant real driver and the constant challenge is they're trying to weigh how they can get a cost-effective IFE solution, but one that really still enhances the passenger experience. You know, we, we clearly still strongly believe in um, seatback IFE certainly don't believe that connectivity is ever going to kill that market completely. Sure, there is a market segment where wireless to PEDs is going to satisfy the airline. So that's really, I believe, low-cost carriers, ultra-low-cost carriers. For the majority of particularly wide-body long-haul, I think seatback is where it's going to be. And what connectivity is going to do is add to the seatback. Okay. Um, it's not going to take away from seatback. It, it will augment. It will augment. Okay. And so, you know, that's why we're positioned where we're positioned. So we will continue to develop and enhance um, FTTS. You know, there's still the benefit of using a fiber optic means that as screen technology changes, we can update screens but keep the rest of the system in the aircraft. So it gives a very easy upgrade path for airlines. So as screen technology changes and we eventually get to full HD or 4K or 8K, an airline can change the screen, but not have to change the rest of the system. Okay, well, thank you, John. You're very welcome. Thank you. I'm feeling good. Oh, the possibilities of what I could.